Here is the first of four motors, and this is the Y-axis motor. It doesn't look like much from the top because this is just the pulley. But if I flip it over, you can see the stepper motor is attached underneath. Let's take a look at what parts you need to install this. One GT2 pulley, two M3 set screws, one stepper motor, three M3 16 millimeter screws, and Threadlocker Blue. Threadlocker Blue is not included in the kit, however you can find it at most large hardware stores. We need to apply Threadlocker to some of the screws because vibrations of the machine could actually work those screws loose, so Threadlocker ensures they stay in place. Threadlocker Blue, however, is important because Threadlocker Blue is removable, meaning that if you ever needed to take it apart, you could do that. The pulley needs a little bit of assembly, particularly we need to put the set screws in this opening and this opening. So we take two of the set screws and our smallest Allen wrench, and uh, you'll see there's one side of the set screw that accepts the Allen wrench. Go ahead and just send it on in to that opening. You don't need to put it all the way in because we want to leave room in this whole opening here for the motor shaft. But just get those set screws in place because we're going to need them later. Alright, so again, I said you want to leave that inside open. So even though my set screws have been added, the inside is still open. Take a close look at your stepper motor and you'll notice that one side of the shaft is flat. It's going to be important that one of our set screws lines up with the flat side of the motor shaft. Just like my end stop, I've added a painter's tape label. This is the Y axis motor. If yours isn't labeled, add it now. If the set screws are at the right depth, meaning that this is open down the middle, this should slide right on top. You want the wider end on top. Just drop that down on top of the motor shaft. Here I've laid the motor on its side to show you that one of those set screws lines up with the flat side of the motor shaft. You want the pulley at the very top of the motor shaft. In fact, in this image, you can see that it's slightly above the top of the motor shaft. Try to match this as best as possible. You may have to adjust up or down once you see where this goes in place. But for now, position it so that it's slightly above the very top of the motor shaft. Now that I have the pulley at the right height, I'm going to go ahead and tighten down the set screws. I am going to have to loosen them back up later to add thread locker, but for now I'm just looking to check the spacing is correct. I've laid the base on its side, and now we're looking underneath the base. I'm going to slide the motor in like this, so that we can see how it lines up with the pulley on top. From this side view, you can see our newly installed pulley on the motor lines up with the previously installed idler pulley. If yours don't line up, undo the set screws on the motor shaft, and readjust the height of the pulley. Once you have them lined up correctly, you're ready to apply the thread locker. I have two tricks when I apply thread locker. One is I like to lay the motor on its side so that if I apply too much thread locker, it drips and falls on the table and not into the motor itself. The other one is I just undo one screw at a time, apply thread locker, while leaving the other screw tightened in place so the pulley doesn't slip. So go ahead and take out one of the set screws. I'm just going to leave it on the end of the Allen wrench here. I'm going to apply some thread locker into those threads. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. All I do is put one little drop, and now I'm going to put it right back into the side of the pulley. I'm going to turn the motor and do the other side. Again, you just need one little drop, and that's all it takes. At this point, you're tightening these screws permanently, so make sure they're nice and snug. Now that you're ready to put the motor in place, you need to make sure you put the wires in the right direction. You want the wires headed towards these four pegs because that's where the printer board will be installed and the motor is going to plug into the printer board. So when you place the motor, you want to make sure that the wires are pointed out to the right. You'll screw it in place from the top. Now when you go to add the screws to the motor, you're going to find the motor sits a little lower than the frame. So you've got to hold it up and then put the frame on top and tighten down the screws. If you want to do what I did, I just set one of the wooden printer bot wrenches underneath the motor and then balance the frame on top. Whatever way you do it, go ahead and add your three M3 16mm screws and tighten them down with the Allen wrench. Tighten down the screws so they feel firm, but do not over tighten them. It's actually pretty easy to rip out the threads in a stepper motor. So just tighten them until they're firm and then you've installed the Y axis motor and pulley.